It's breakfast time and we have some leftover rice. So we're gonna do fried rice on the 17 inch Blackstone griddle. We have um, about a cup and a half, maybe two cups of leftover Japanese rice. We have two eggs beaten. Now you wanna get all your ingredients together because this is gonna come together pretty quick. We have green onion for garlish, garnish. My mom always liked to add carrot, so that's something I grew up liking. Peas, if you go to Asia, peas are not in fried rice. We have some ground or chopped up ginger, chopped up garlic, the lower part of the green onion, and we got some jalapeno peppers from our garden. And we'll spice it up a bit. Have grapeseed oil. It's good for high temps and non-flavored. We have a little bit of sesame oil. We have our soy sauce, MSG, salt, and black pepper. So let's put this together. The grill's ready to go. So let's get a little bit of oil down here. All right, we're gonna put a splash of uh, sesame oil in our egg. And we're gonna do the egg first. And basically here, we just made an omelet. Okay, next, all our veggies. Okay, now comes our rice. A little bit of sesame oil. Help loosen it up. And just a little bit of water. I sped it up to four times speed in this segment. And you can see uh, basically I'm just folding the rice in and over on itself. All right, a little bit of salt. Not too much, because we have um, soy sauce coming. We've got black pepper. A little bit of MSG. And then our soy sauce. About a tablespoon.
Okay, you saw that came together really quick. Get these um, Asian soup spoons. I have uh, two different sizes. We have a larger size, uh, you know, for soup, but it's great for like chili, um, stuff like that. And it's perfect for fried rice instead of using a fork or a regular spoon. Okay. A lot of people, I think, put too much soy sauce on. We have some um, Ichimi Togarashi. This is kind of a Japanese red pepper seasoning. That also will help kick it up a notch. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a challenge on that 17 inch. I've had that for um, over four years. I use it um, at least three or four times a week, but there's not a lot of space to do the um, teppanyaki style of cooking on it. So um, anyway, you have to work with what you got. Real easy recipe. Um, again, the thing that made it different is I'm using Japanese um, rice, which is a short grain rice, which I think is better. It, it is stickier. And that's why I put a little bit of water and oil in it to help um, kind of break it up. I mean, but that's why it's used for sushi because it holds together. All right, folks, I'm gonna finish this delicious fried rice. I hope this gives you some ideas and um, challenge yourself to get outdoors and cook. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching.